Anatoly, I am happy to greet you. We have once again come to visit you in the Republic of Belarus, in the city of Minsk. Where have you come from? We came from far away. From Odessa, the Pearl Coast of the Black Sea. We are happy to see you in full health, in a good, combative spirit. I would like to begin our meeting with a significant date that was in your life quite recently. You turned 72 years old on the 16th of April. I have been in contact with you quite often for a long time, and I can see that you are a man who, who does not feel 72 years old. What helps you stay such an energetic, productive, efficient person? For many people, the age of 72 seems like an advanced age. Do you feel like you are 72? Good afternoon. I certainly do not feel this age of 72. What helps me be in active shape? I train my main muscle. My brain. I am thinking all the time. I am working all the time. I have no days off, no holidays. As soon as I wake up, I immediately think about how to improve the anchor support, or rolling stock, or aerodynamics, or how to make cosmic soil, how to take industry into space, how to build linear cities, how to optimize farming there. How to get humus on which soil will grow. Not just get it, but what kind of technology should be like. I cannot think about the same thing for long. Karl Marx used to say, I am having a rest when I am doing a new job. Since I am switching all the time, I am actually not stressed. If I get tired of thought, I switch to another one. And it gives me strength and vigor. I have to find a solution. The physical activity is also a plus. I have never been known for my health, by the way. As you can see, I am 72 years old and I feel better than I did 40 years ago. That is when I got involved in this subject and when I started writing my first book. String Transport Systems on the Earth and in Space I called the system String Ones because a string is a pre-stressed structure. The brand of the technology has started since those days. Unitsky String Transport was originally a brand. It continues to be these days as well. We are in the office of the company called Unitsky String Technologies Incorporated. That is the brand that is scaling up to the maximum right now. As it was before as well. There are different brands in between, but they are commercial, they are not technological. It is like a car. For example, Ford may have different models and different names, but they are made of Ford's technology despite the fact that each model may have its own individual name. That is why Skyway was one of the trade names, and it was used most in crowdfunding. It is still there and it works. It was not those Skyway where the investments had been attracted to, but to Unitsky String Transport. There are also string bridges, string vacuum glass, string runways, and the general planetary vehicle, which will ensure that the Earth industry is brought to space. It is also a string system because it is a pre-stressed structure. Imagine, the ring is 40,000 kilometers long along the equator and 2 to 3 meters in diameter. Divide 1 by 20 million. That is like a spider's web against a skyscraper. Such is the scaling. If we do not stretch this web, it will lose its stability. So this structure is pretensioned too and it can go into space without losing the shape of a circle and complete the task. That is where I started from, inventing string systems. When I was a student, I came up with the idea of the general planetary vehicle, and then the string system known as Skyway or Unitsky String Transport branched off from it. It is like a modified flyover. I have simplified the flyover, reducing it to a string rail. And the flyover from which the system is to start, I provided with specially designed rails and put on them the electric vehicle on steel wheels. This is how Unitsky String Transport was born as a byproduct of a larger project. Anatoly Edwardovich, I would like to take this opportunity to read out some congratulations for many of your supporters, which came from hundreds of people who appreciate your work, who love you as an engineer, as a person who strives to change the life of humanity for the better. I'm going to read out a few of these congratulations. 
Natalia Shevchenko posted on social networks the following congratulations to you. Our congratulations. Our dearest and beloved engineer, professor, academian, inventor. You have a lot of regalia that is even difficult to name them all. I wish you good health, strength, and let all your dreams come true. No power can stop a man if he is persistent in the pursuit of his dream. And he has one dream, to improve the quality of life of people on the earth. May your family and friends be healthy, and may success and good fortune follow you everywhere. Happy birthday to you, Anatoly Eduardovich. Golnara Niyazova wrote the following. We would like to join all the wonderful congratulations. We wish you good health and long life. May the universe help you in all your good deeds. We have great respect and appreciation for you. Thank you for what you are. We are with you. And there are hundreds of such congratulations and they have been posted on many social networks. I am sure that thousands of people who are aware of your date of birth were congratulating you on that day. Thank you for the congratulations. There were indeed many of them. They were mostly from our investors. And thanks to them, I am doing all that. Now I am in my office, where meetings, negotiations take place, in our building. Could you share some details about it? Just six months ago, when we were there last time. And since then, there have been such changes. In 2020, the company moved into its own new building, with much more space, for the comfort of the team you had created. On our last visit, we didn't see this great office. It was just getting ready. I have seen a number of changes here that were not in the previous study, in the previous office. In the background, there are some very nice live plants. I take it that it is not just for aesthetic pleasure, there should be also some sense here. There is, of course, but I would also like to talk about the building itself. It is a nine-story building with more than 10,000 square meters. This is our office. This is where our main engineering company, Unitsky String Technologies Incorporated, is. But we have 36 buildings and facilities on top of that. They are smaller than that, but still. They are solid buildings and facilities in several countries. They are owned by our investors. And by me, as a co-investor. As the major investor and co-owner. This is our common property that was acquired for the investments that our investors put into the technology. That being said, if you take the 15 stages that are now in progress, it was not intended that these buildings would be owned there. And now we have 36 buildings and facilities in ownership. Am I right in understanding that, in fact, from the amount of investment that was from all investors, depending on the number of company shares one owns, he or she owns centimetres or metres of this or that property. And the square metres. And the same with the roads when they are being built. But that will all depend on capitalization, and we are already getting there. And here we have cosmic soil. Imagine we have taken the industry into space. Plants, factories, power plants have to be maintained there. Let it be less than on Earth, as there will be robotization, automization, mechanization, and so on. Artificial intelligence will work there, but humans will also be involved. If even one hundredth of a percent of the population will be there for servicing, that is a million people. And where to live? How to live? There should be created the living conditions that are no worse than on the planet. In our own home. I have another company, Astro Engineering Technologies, which I am funding. Investors do not give money to it. I invest there what I personally earn. Is it related to Spaceway? Yes, it is Spaceway. It's something I've been doing for over 50 years. That is where you started? Yes. Yes, I have been financing that since then because I cannot direct the investment that goes into the string transport to here. It would be a misuse of the investor's funding. 
Although I have limited capacity there, limited funding, but we are doing a lot. We are already holding the fourth international conference this year. As part of our work in astroengineering technologies, we, among other things, have worked on the concept of the Ecocosmo homes. Imagine a cosmic house. 500 to 1,000 meters in size. It is a cylinder, or a torus, or a sphere. It rotates around its axis, so there is a centrifugal force there, and you can build up a layer of soil inside. For it to be all over the whole radius. So, we will be like living not on the ground, but from inside the ground. There are weirdos who claim the Earth is hollow, and there is life there too. There are even films about it. So, imagine, the Cosmodome is like that. There will be gardens growing there. There will be lawns, streams flowing, birds and animals living there, and people living in houses that will be different. There will be a microclimate that is optimal for us. It is subtropics where it is warm all year round. The temperature is around plus 20 degrees and the humidity is comfortable. Cosmic houses are vulnerable. And any spacecraft is vulnerable. Even those vehicles that fly, like the ISS, the space station for example, are like a kettle. The supporting wall is about a millimeter thick. A drop of water at 20 kilometers per second will puncture through the hull, all the equipment. Everyone will die. So, it is just lucky nothing big has ever hit that ISS. Small grains of sand just scratch, but they can also puncture. If there is a millimetre grain of sand, it will puncture through too. But there are also meteorites that are bigger. To stop a meteorite the size of a football from hitting, a meteorite that size is quite rare, but sometimes it can be like that size or a spanner which someone accidentally dropped in space. Or even a bag of rubbish dropped in space, and then, at 8 km per second speed, the impact from that bag will be stronger than from a one-ton projectile. To stop that happening, there must be a thickness that cannot be penetrated. And the best protection is the soil, the ground. Soil is also needed for the trees to grow. We will put a thick layer of soil, but it is quite heavy. Soil like chernozem weighs 1.5 tons per cubic meter. It is hard and expensive to get the soil there. It should be light for these conditions. That is why I developed cosmic soil, where the light mineral part, the foamy mineral, and the pores are filled with humus, which we produce ourselves. It is relic humus made from lignite, or shale. And lignite is a former tree that grew a few hundred billion years ago. Then it turned into coal, and the former tree is former soil, in which there is a whole Mendeleev's table. So, lignite has all the elements necessary for life. There are 86 chemical elements working in our body. We need even arsenic in microscopic doses. The main thing is not to overdo the amount. As you can see, there is also everything here for plant nutrition. And this soil weighs 500 kilograms per cube, which is three times lighter. It is richer than chernozem. Here is Ukrainian chernozem, but this soil is better than it. It is richer, more fertile. There is subtropical vegetation planted here, such as lemons, oranges, there is even a banana. I am testing. I am not the cobbler who sews boots and walks around in others because he knows he sews bad boots. I test on myself. When it is lunchtime, I take a pepper and eat it. It is peppermint. It is very healthy and healing. Taste it. I put peppermint in my tea. There are other medicinal herbs that go into teas too. There will be lemons here. Now, in springtime, they are blooming. What size will they be? About this size. It is a full-size lemon. Yes. And there will be bananas. 
Dwarf bananas. We will taste them. We are going to plant some more citrus. And look how pretty this one is. It is a laurel leaf. It is an ingredient in any dish. Borscht is a Ukrainian dish. I can give you a leaf, and you can boil it in borscht. Thank you. Just smell it. Yes, it is very fragrant. That is why there is an ongoing experiment here. And I do it on my weekend. I love life. I love plants, animals, the living world. You can hear the birds singing out there. You have already answered my unasked question. It was then when you said that such environment there should have all the things that, in fact, we have on the earth. Just that. Nothing should be artificial. Your office is a prototype of what will be in the space station. Some elements of it. And here, in fact, there is the experiment ongoing. Anatoly Edwardovich, in 2014. When you address people via the internet, you stated that in one of the vectors of development, when your technology has been certified, it will go from being an innovation project to being an investment project. In your view, have we reached the stage where some of your developments can be considered full-fledged investment directions? Yes, of course. We have already moved into the investment project stage. I mean the technology itself. It is often asked, where are the targeted projects? Actually, we already have five tracks built into the Eco Techno Park in Belarus. Two more of the tracks are under construction for heavy vehicles. One test track has been built in the Emirates. And two 2.5 kilometer tracks are under construction there. But they are not small models. They are not made out of styrofoam. They are industrial products as they should be. That is why this stage has come. Moreover, we have already certified five vehicles. And how many of them are in the process of development at the moment? We have made 12 models. All of them are completely different. It is often said that Elon Musk has made two or three models of an electric car. And we have made 12 models. We have designed and manufactured them in such a short time. We have managed to do that at our own production facilities, which we created from scratch with no support other than from investors. In fact, we still have no support other than from investors. On the contrary, we are being tried to hold back, to hinder us and so on. And this is the environment in which we are working. We set up our own production facilities, equipped with the most modern equipment. There are five axis and seven axis machines, costing nearly a million dollars each. No other enterprise in Belarus has such a set of equipment. It was repeatedly noted by the guests who came to visit us. This is also our production, and it is owned by our investors. 36 buildings and facilities. Production areas with expensive high-tech equipment. We have passed that milestone. We have really passed it. Since there have been signed a confidentiality agreement, I cannot say where we are already working on the projects, in which particular countries, regions, what kind of projects they are. The first stages of targeted projects by documents, by work, are already underway. This year, we will definitely announce several targeted projects which we are already implementing. I mean, we do not intend to implement them. We are already implementing them. These are great pieces of news, Anatoly Edwardovich. I would like to clarify one thing. At the beginning of our conversation, we were talking about the UST brand, the Skyway brand. Do I understand you correctly? That when the company is already going into the commercial phase, the full technical formulation of what the engineering company Unitsky String Technologies does is related to that. In other words, the company has essentially been String Technologies all along, has it? You should understand the difference between technology and a brand name. For example, I am Anatoly Unitsky. 
Unitsky is a surname. It is a base name, and the first name is Anatoly. That is, there is the root part of the brand, and there is the auxiliary part. The root one is Unitsky String Transport. It was, and still is, and this as one of the names. There is no need to get attached to it. Skyway is a brand name for a certain product at a certain stage of development, and at the heart of it is the technology called Unitsky String Transport. The root name is more fundamental. In English, my name is spelt U-N-I-T-S-K-Y. Uni meaning something that is unifying, sky is the sky, T is transport. Unitsky is a person who is unifying the sky through transport. How much more fundamental could it sound? Agreed. Unitsky string roads in their name, in fact, reveal more information about the technology itself, and one can no longer confuse it with someone or something else. We sometimes get emails in which there is such a question. We have seen the Skyway Hotel. Is it your hotel? And there is an airline called Skyway. Isn't it yours? Water. Yes, there is even water with such a name. There are some construction companies that have this name. And we have to answer, that is just a coincidence. But, are there any other companies or whatever than Unitsky String Technologies in which investors invest money? Name at least one. There are none. There are none of them, and there will not be any. Therefore, this is the main brand. And we are now mainly promoting it, abroad including. I would also like to ask this question. Which relates to the attitude towards innovation from the society. Just recently, with my colleague Dmitry Slusar, we were discussing how the world as a whole, throughout history, has treated innovation. And Dima said, Maxim, why are we surprised when the world does not accept something new? Do you remember the movie, which is already a Soviet classic comedy, Ivan Vasilyevich changes his profession? Do you remember, Anatoly Edwardovich, what Tsar Even the Terrible says about the inventor in this comedy, in which Tsar Even the Terrible travels through time? I've put him on a barrel of gunpowder, let him fly. It is really an indication of how the attitude used to be. And, in fact, it is the same attitude at present. Man is inherently conservative, and that is fine. Otherwise, everyone would run around inventing new things, and eventually everything would disappear. That is why conservatism is useful in preserving what has been gained before, and not losing it. Nowadays, by the way, there are things going on in the world that can eliminate the existing civilization and not creating a new one. COVID-19 has showed and uncovered many such processes. Yes, it was a good marker. It is very dangerous to forget the past and try to redo things differently. That is why I am comfortable with conservatism. It is painful and hurtful, though especially for the one who's been put on the barrel. I have been flown on a barrel more than once and in more than one country. But I have landed safely, thank God. Anatoly Edwardovich, but with such a development of your technology, how has the attitude to it changed? What was it like five years ago and what is it like now? Do you feel a change for the better towards what you are doing? Towards me and the technology? Yes, towards you and the technology. Has there been a change for the better? Giordano Bruno was once burned at the stake. But since then, no one else has been burned. The stage when we don't believe and it cannot be, we have already passed. There are undeniable facts. Here is our first vehicle. In 2017, it was already running. It happened four years ago. It reached the speed of 103 kilometers per hour. We did get this speed during the running tests. This vehicle, if you compare it with a Tesla electric car, is much more sophisticated, much more innovative. What is there in the Tesla? There are known before engines, known contours, a known frame. Their creation was put on a known frame, known wheels, and it started running using a known battery. And here, in our vehicle, everything is new. From the shape, to the aerodynamics, which is very important, to the frame, to the engine, to the steel wheels, which differ from railway wheels, and so on. The automatic control system, the safety system, and the energy storage are completely different. We cannot put the traditional energy storage in here. 
So we had to design all that from scratch, with no support other than from investors. Anatoly Edwardovich. Thousands of supporters of what you were doing and I believed in your technology and your idea when it was still in the pictures and your drawings. You also had 35-year experience under your belt. More has now been done in a short time than was declared in 2014, and for far less money. I always drew such parallels, in the closest country to Belarus. As I know, there was implemented a project in creating the Arus car, on which there had been spent a lot more money, a lot more time, but basically, there was made the known car, with a better saloon, but no more than that. You have managed to create just in five years, I know you have been developing in Belarus since 2016, a new mode of transport. We know road, rail, air, sea, underwater transport, and there is a new one, Unitsky String Transport. In fact, it is the birth of a new industry. Absolutely right. Here, if you take the automobile, it has been known for over 200 years. The first automobiles were in the 18th century. The first car accident in America was even before Ford was born. I don't remember which city. There were two cars and they managed to collide. It was the 18th century, I do not remember the year exactly. The first electric car was in the mid-19th century. It was not a Tesla electric car. But we also make electric vehicles. But ours has steel wheels and different aerodynamics. That said, our electric vehicle has a significant difference from those that drive on asphalt. Ours can run on battery power, on the contact network, and can also run on rails. But when raised above the ground, we can insulate rails from each other, from the supports and from the vehicle. And then, you do not need a catenary and power can be got through the rails. No one has implemented this principle yet, but we have. So we have innovation upon innovation here. You should not think that I have worked out everything beforehand. It is impossible to do in detail. I have worked out the concepts. In every car, there are thousands of details. Each of them has to be thought out, worked out, drawn its interactions with the other parts. It is necessary to make units, blocks, and that all is to work. The detailing is hard work, and it is done by a team. I had gathered this team, and it was not easy putting together a team of about a thousand engineers from scratch. It is a very small team, because simpler tasks are handled by many more engineers. Here, too, I have shown above and beyond the ability to do so much in a short amount of time for little money, including team building. That amazes us, Anatoly Edwardovich inspires us and strengthens our confidence that you will be able to fully implement the project you have proposed for implementation. In that regard, I would like to ask you a question. We are now at the point where there is very little left. How come? The life cycle of the technology is 200 to 500 years. There is eternity ahead. No doubt about that. I mean, what is left? Talking about 15 stages, we have passed almost 14 stages. What is left is stage 15, and it is the main one. It is one of the most key stages in terms of material intensity. It is a key one in terms of funding. We had not implemented it, not because we did not want to, or could not, but because there was no money. And even now there is no money for it, as we have to implement the most difficult part. It is the high-speed track, which is to be at least 20 kilometers long half of the way for acceleration, then running for some distance, and half of the way is for braking. It is necessary to work out all the modes, acceleration, braking, and so on. If you take a similar system, a magnetic cushion train, or a monorail, or a highway overpass, that is, something of what is already known, it would take a billion dollars to build 20 kilometers. And we do not need that much to build a radically new flyover and run a radically new rolling stock on it with a radically new control system because operating at 100 kilometers per hour and 500 kilometers per hour are completely different tasks. So we only do what we can do in the study, development, 
design calculations in wind tunnel blowdowns, and we cannot go out in the field and start building. We do not have the money for that. You have built the high speed vehicle itself. Yes, the vehicle is there, but it cannot go on the track because there is no track. And here it will reach speeds of 50 to 60, or 100 kilometers per hour, and then it will have to slow down, or it will just fly off the track. In this regard, I wanted to ask you a question. Could you share your vision of how long the 15th stage will last? Which is just around the corner. What does the speed of full implementation of stage 15 and the possibility of closing the entrance to the root campaign depend on? About two years, and that is actually just for construction. All the design solutions are there. The vehicle is developed. We showed one variant of the vehicle, but there are completely different ones, and they are also developed. That does not mean it all comes down to one model. Take airplanes. There are hundreds of models, if not thousands. The same is with us. Where I started, the first pictures are in the monograph. There it is shown a push-pull propeller vehicle. That option we also have. And it is a good vehicle with certain advantages. You can make an electric airplane. But how to stretch the wires to the airplane? There are some projects showing the wire from the coil stretching to the airplane. There are also solar panels, batteries, but that only means the plane has to carry tons of that. That said, the plane is held up by the air. Because as it moves forward, it throws the air down, and there is an upward force that supports the plane. The plane throws the air down, and there is a tremendous amount of energy going out, which reduces efficiency. That is why an airplane cannot be an efficient transport. It is the most costly one. It is physics. And our airplane does not need to be supported. It does not need wings. The air does not have to support. It is to stream around and create the minimal drag. But, in fact, it is an airplane. Our vehicle has airplane-like aerodynamics and airplane-like speed. So, our Unilot will be the most efficient airplane. Anatoly Edwardovich. What are the difficulties in proceeding with the implementation? The first thing, as we all understand, is financing. What about the location? We were first denied location three years ago for far-fetched reasons. Were we rejected here in Marina Gorka? Yes, they refer to the fact that a lot of birds will die and valuable species of trees will be cut down when our track passes through the swamp. There are unique palm trees growing there somewhere, or something like that. Those were far-fetched reasons, and the reason, of course, was something else. We were denied at the time. Now, we have started the second procedure. It is actually already completed. If they do not refuse it now, then the location will be in Belarus. If they refuse, there is no problem. We have several locations in other countries. One of them is in the Emirates. But it is not so easy to work in the Emirates either. Everything is much more expensive there. If you compare with Belarus, the standard of living there is higher. The cost of materials is higher. The cost of everything is higher. If we do it there, I am afraid we will not have enough of the money we declared for stage 15. But there are still other locations that will be reasonably priced. And we will be able, with land and funding, to make this work implemented in two years. The implementation is already underway. There is already the vehicle in place. For some reason, everyone thinks it is mandatory to go all the way, to certify and so on. Nobody does business that way. If you take, say, Airbus company, which decided to make Airbus A380. They only had blueprints. They did not have an Airbus itself. But Dubai has already bought several dozen planes from them. The largest Airbus A380 fleet is in Dubai. The company sold cheaper to Dubai because there are still the blueprint stage. So, we also work with customers. And we have them, and they are willing to buy. But the main thing is to start doing it and show that we are doing it. As soon as we install the first support, 
we can already say that we are starting the high-speed projects. We showed it here in Belarus, but the authorities did not believe it. When I came to Belarus and found this abandoned tank range, nobody wanted this land. The chairman of the executive committee said, Nobody needs this land. There are pits, swamp, all smelled of gunpowder. Nothing grows there anyway. Here you go, take it. I do not believe you will make something work. He did not believe that our vehicles would run there. And neither did anybody. But our vehicles did ride. We have also developed the high-speed direction. And we have the evidence base that we know how to calculate correctly. So, we will be believed that we are going to implement these high-speed projects. I wanted to tell you that when I first saw the rolling stock that you first showed me, Unibus and Unibike, they looked totally different. Not the way we imagined them. Not the way they were drawn in the pictures. You surprised at that point by doing better than you declare. That is a fact. There is more to it than that. It's not right to show everything. There is competition after all. There are other things. As the saying goes, if you want to make God laugh, tell him about your plans. That is why we do talk something about our plans, but there is no need to talk about the details. The high-speed system will not be what you imagine. It will be much better. We have no doubt about that. From the previous question we discussed, am I correct in concluding that the capitalization and monetization of the technology can come sooner, before we implement all 15 stages? Is that a possibility? Absolutely right. There's a talk about IPOs, but a lot of big companies do not go for IPOs. It is not necessary. There is no direct connection here. It is just one of the capitalization options. One should go to IPO to raise more money. But why should we enter IPO? We can raise financing in other ways. The company's capitalization is already underway, but in a sluggish mode. When we start building specific tracks, we will move from the blueprint stage to construction. I am sure we will start building the first tracks this year. So serious capitalization will start happening this year. Here is what Elon Musk showed. His rockets explode, fall, but capitalization goes up. His company is unprofitable, but his capitalization is in the hundreds of billions of dollars. It is actually very important to draw such parallels. Because quite often, unfortunately, people do not see what is going on under their noses. To put it crudely, they may be delighted the rockets are being launched, and launch attempts are not successful, but at the same time capitalization is increasing. These rockets explode, and each launch is $300 million. And we scratch a little bit somewhere, and we are already rebuked that everything is bad and it is all wrong. Parallels like those are necessary. An emphasis should be placed on that. Yes, you have to understand that business is somewhat different than what people who do not do business think about it. Business has already moved into the realm of emotions. They sell emotion. They can sell a product that nobody wants, but it is wrapped up very nicely. And no one will take a good product without good packaging. Unfortunately, what is going on with us, I mean trolling and stuff, it is all the packaging, and it is not very good to have such packaging. When they say that we are crooks, as the Belarusian press wrote, that we made this vehicle out of plywood and put the engine from a coffee grinder in it. What grinder? Our vehicle is like an airplane in complexity, so when having that kind of packaging, it is very hard to sell, but we have changed that component now too. On the internet, our technology looks quite differently. Branding also affects that. Thousands of witnesses have already seen that everything works as they were riding your rolling stock many times. There are tens of thousands of people who have not seen our vehicles in person. And whether you argue with that or not, it is a fact. Unibike has already run several tens of thousands of kilometers, and it is not a showpiece, though this vehicle has been all over the world. In Berlin, at the InnoTrans exhibition, in Dubai, 
the Sheikh of Dubai was sitting in this vehicle with his son, the Crown Prince, and taking selfies in our vehicle. All that was happening at the World Government Summit, and it was very high level. The vehicle was in Singapore and a number of other countries. This vehicle has toured the world. The whole world has seen it, and many famous people were sitting in it and taking pictures to keep the memories. We even had the honor of being inside it. The vehicle is created so qualitatively. The trim, the leather is stitched seam to seam. It's as good as a Mercedes or a BMW. We even had the honor of being inside it. I was very impressed with the interior of the high-speed Uni Liot that was presented in Berlin. You are sitting inside of it like you are in S-Class. Even the seats there are ours. Not just the body, the whole design is ours. How do you see your company developing in the next five years? And in the next ten years? There are such changes in the world right now that civilization may not have a future at all so it is hard to make predictions. Just say about vision and vector. The vectors I promote include taking the industry into space. Deindustrialization is not necessary. There is nothing wrong with this carbon, carbon dioxide. And there is enough food and water and other resources on the planet. So the promotion of deindustrialization is being done by certain people with certain goals that are not the same as ours. We have different goals. So, if we move along the vector that I've been following for 50 years, in five years' time, our group of companies is to have at least $500 billion in capitalization. $500 billion? Yes. In 10 years, I think it is at least a trillion capitalization wise. There will be ongoing dozens, even hundreds of projects. We will have powerful production on all elements. Right now, we are making both flyover elements, supports and rolling stock at the same production facility. But there will already be specialized production. We are getting there. We already have the technology. There will be a separate production facility for freight vehicles. There will be separate facilities for urban and high-speed vehicles. We also have a lot of developments in network management, energy, on infrastructure. We will separate the design part into a separate company. It will be a design institute. We will also have separate directions for science, and there will be a few companies here. That is why we will be a group of companies, not one company. There will be at least 100 companies in this group, in different countries, in different regions. Anatoly Edwardovich, in my imagination, the prospect is being drawn the Unitsky String Transport Group of companies could be one of the most capitalized directions of companies on the planet. Let us take a cell phone. Just about 30 years ago, nobody believed in it, and there are even predictions that the entire world might need only 500 cell phones as they are not promising. Look now, it is the biggest business. There are at least $5 trillion, if not $10 trillion, in this business. Not just production, but the connection itself. The operation of that connection, and so on. It is the same with us. We are not just going to have roads design and construction, we are going to have operation as well. We also have the task of having our own roads, which will be in our ownership, which we will be operating and making a profit. I did not say for nothing in my first address to people that we are creating the biggest business in the history of civilization. More than Ford, Boeing, Sikorsky combined have created. That is the way it is because it is not only an infrastructure business and transport is only part of it. There will be linear cities where billions of people will live. Can you imagine what it is like to build cities where billions of people will live with all the infrastructure? with roads, with housing, with agriculture, and you have to feed everyone. There will be humus produced for the soils to bear fruit normally, and not to be destroyed. And there will be its own relict energy, which will not only kill the environment, but on the contrary, will grow. That all will not decrease the land area, but will increase it, because we have gardens growing on all our infrastructure. 
So, by constructing a building or a facility, we increase the land area, not decrease it, and it will be more fertile. This whole market is in the hundreds of trillions of dollars in terms of a niche market. The other thing is what part are we going to take? There will be a lot of people who would like to go there, but some meaningful part we are going to take. Based on your address in 2014, you said it would be at least 50%. Like, let us say, Boeing. But now it is given up ground because the competitors have been catching up for a hundred years. When Ford started his business, Detroit was the center of the world's auto industry then, and now it lies in ruins. The Japanese got ahead, and it took them a hundred years to do that. So let us not predict the 22nd century. 21st one is good enough, and to predict for the 21st century is quite realistic. Based on such prospects, which are more than real? What would you wish for all the proponents who have already supported the string transport technology? And those who will still be exposed to it in the long run, and get to know about it, what would you wish for such people? Patience in waiting. I did prognose deadlines, and it was the years 2018 and 2020, but who knew there would be so many force majeure events? The timeline was more anticipated than actual. In general, no business plan, not one, ever meets deadlines. It has never happened before. These are still projections. And life makes some serious adjustments, and it cannot be helped. That is why some people are outraged that the deadline is out, but where are the dividends and where are the profits? It is all going to happen. And even more than you assume. So, the main thing is patience and understanding. You are not going to lose money. You are going to multiply it, and you are going to multiply it very significantly. This will affect the lives of your children and grandchildren for the better. And they will live in a different world. More environmentally friendly, cleaner and safer one thanks in part to our technologies. Anatoly Edwardovich, we are certain that we will have such a future with the realization of all the ideas you are implementing now. For our part, we also wish you successful implementation, patience, wisdom, perseverance, and great progress in all your endeavors. Thank you for the revealing conversation. See you again. I will definitely see you again.